When a projectile is file, fired vertically upward from the ground at an initial velocity of 80 feet per second, its height in feet t seconds after is given by 80t minus 16t squared. Find the average height of the projectile during the five second flight. So I, I want to figure out on average how high does my projectile go over the whole flight. So most students get all excited and they just come here and I'm going to say I'm just going to integrate from 0 to 5 h of t dt. You know, and I know we have h of t there and we'll get to that. But this technically isn't even height, this integral. This integral is summing up the product of two things. It's summing up the product of height in feet times t seconds. So this is feet seconds, if you want to call it any type of unit of measure. That's feet right there. Feet seconds, if you're trying to any unit of measure. And what the question is asking is average height. So this is supposed to be just feet. So if you remember when we studied average value, we have to also multiply by this number up here, 1 over b minus a, and that's also 1 over seconds. So if you multiply these three things together, this thing does actually turn out to be just feet in the end. So average value is defined as the sum of the, over the interval over which you're working times 1 over b minus a. But you need to understand why that works that way when this is actually feet seconds, but until we multiply by that, the seconds don't go away. So let's calculate this. Alrighty, so let's put the actual numbers in there. One fifth integral from zero to five, 80t minus 16t squared dt. And this is a pretty straightforward integral. Just the, the um, power rule works. One fifth times 80t squared over two minus 16t cubed over three from zero to five. That's equal to one fifth times um, 40 t squared minus, well, 16 and 3 don't reduce, so that's going to be 16 t cubed over 3 from 0 to 5. Using the fundamental theorem now, I'll have one fifth times 40 5 squared minus 16. 5 cubed over 3 minus 40 times 0 minus 16 times 0. So nice, lovely set of zeros there, which is wonderful. Plugging this into my calculator, I just need to plug this guy in here. Let me get my little machine. All right. I have 40 times 5 squared minus 16 times 5 cubed divided by 3. That looks to be a pretty large number, but I get 30, 333.333. Let's just make it a fraction. 1,000 over 3. So 1,000 over 3. And 1,000 is nicely divided by 5. If I multiply those together, 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. So this is actually 200 over 3. And what unit of measure should it be? Feet. But, you know, it's better if we're doing a problem and talking about the average height, giving it a number. 200 divided by 3 is 66.67 feet on average.